Hey, yo, oh, what's good, gang? Top of back with another video. And today, boys, we got the 49ers theme team gameplay featuring Patrick Willis, Talanoa Hufanga, Grave Digger, aka Javon Hargrave, who just signed with the Niners. That's mainly the three. I don't know what I'm going to title. I, I might title this something to do with defense, but it's just basically introducing those players. But if you are new here, subscribe to see more 49ers theme team videos, more Madden videos. Um, and like and comment on this video to help the video do better, basically. But yeah, boys, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, sorry for not doing a Talanoa Hufanga gameplay individually. That's my bad. I, I, I don't know. I just didn't do it. I've been kind of in. This card, they kind of messed them up, man. They kind of messed up my boy. They didn't give him pick artist for zero or one AP. He just don't get pick artist. It's the stupidest thing. Why not? They give every other card pick artist for zero AP, but Hufanga can't even get it for one AP. I don't know why. Um, but zero AP tip drill, pretty good ability, honestly. Like it's the next best thing to pick artist, but pick artist is better. Deep out zone KO for one AP though, 99 overall, 99 speed, six foot, 210, great zone, man's okay, hit power 99, dog. He he actually really hasn't done too much for me, but nobody's really tested him. He's played solid, and I guess in that terms, I'm not getting tested. Now we got Mr. P. Willis, Patrick Willis, dog. I did play the challenges and got him up. Uh, so uh, 99 speed, hit power 99, zones 91, six foot one, 242. I like his height. Pick artist and lurker for zero AP total. You got to play the challenges and put the collectible into this to unlock that. And then his other card art that is this one? No, it's this. It's just it makes it more golden basically. Then I am using Avalanche Patrick Willis, um, one AP hit sticks for force fumbles. I got a clip of featuring that showing that off. I'll show you guys. But yeah, he's he's really good. I like him. Um, who else did we? Oh, Javon Hargrave. For some reason they haven't gave him Niner Cam. I thought they were gonna give him Niner Cam during the free agency. They haven't. But, you know, he signed with the Niners four years, 80-something million, I think. But he's actually really good. I am using his. Uh, this is the, his AKA card. It's a Redux version. It was cheaper. But Relentless, uh, Secure Tackler for 0 AP and Double or Nothing for 2 AP. Or for 1 AP, my bad. But, yeah, that's it on defense. I did get rid of Sam Adams and switch. And I'm um, using John Madden. He gets 0 AP inside stuff. I love that ability. Uh, we're also rock rocking defensive rally on Fred Warner now. Um, I think everything else is saying, oh, I sold Richard Sherman, uh, with Hufanga coming in and I still use Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott's one speed faster than Sherman. Oh, one thing, one thing, whenever you guys log in for this draft program, they're going to give you this journeyman strat card. Okay. Use this strat card. Plus one speed, plus one catching, plus one tackling. It boosts everybody on your team. Oh, shit. What is it? Oh! Wait, what? Then you could add a team chemistry on there. I didn't even know that. So it's it adds a team team thing, plus it gives you plus one speed. Great, great strat card. I have no... I just logged in, and they gave it to me. Um, But yeah, let's look on our offense. I don't know. Too much hasn't really changed. Everything's kind of the same. Oh, not really, actually. We got two new players. I am using Keyshawn Johnson um, because we have no receivers right now. Our receivers are kind of lacking. I sold Keenan Allen. I sold a bunch of cards. And you see, I'm low on coins compared to what I was. I was at like 3 point something million. Now we're only at 1.1. Hey, times get hard, bro. 6'4", though, 98 speed uh, with that plus 3. Really good card. I actually have enjoyed this card. I played a couple games with him. I like his height. Can't wait till we get Jerry Rice or Randy Moss next, though. Um. And then Patrick Willis running back out of position. Sorry, this is a little longer. I'm rocking short in for zero AP on him and bruiser for one AP. This might be my actual running back. Now, you're going to be like, what? Like, I might use him over CMC. Here is the reason. And it's kind of, he's 242. He's a big back. Guys, it has been so long since I've used a power back for the Niners team team. I used to be, I always rocked Jerome Bettis. I always, like, the big guys. I always rocked the, you know, truck people. Derek Henry, I always had those guys. But now, with the Niners team team, we've kind of, we you know, we've had Jarek McKinnon, Christian McCaffrey, Eliza Mitchell. Frank Gore is, like, 210, 212. Like, he's not even that big. We haven't had a big bruiser running back 
and then we get Patrick Willis, with, who's 242, 98 speed. I really like this card. Now, I don't know if I'm going to completely switch to him. I think I'm going to keep CMC and run Patrick Willis slash him. I don't know. We'll figure it out because I really do like this card. He is my featured running back in this game play. I took the abilities off CMC and activated him. But yeah, that's it on offense, I think. I think that's it. Um, let's get into the game plays. We got two games for y'all. One's super quick. Okay, like don't even trip. I load into the game. Um, he's got a wait, was that Patriots team team? Right? Yeah, the uh, Patriots team team. Um, I'm kicking off. As you see, Patrick Willis is right there, glowing, glowing orange. He's ready. He starts the game with his X Factor on. Um, I have him on kickoff for this exact reason. He flies down there. I just get a hit, click on his stick, fumble, avalanche, baby. And then the guy ends up quitting the game. Um, so GG's. But that that's what I want. That's why I have him on kickoff. That's what this ability does. It allows you to hit stick people and create fumbles. It's really good ability. I don't do any in this gameplay. Is why I showed you this. Because this guy's super weird. Chiefs theme team. Uh, pretty solid theme team. On, well, it's a really good theme team, actually. Um... I actually came out in the wrong defense because I was testing something out out of the Ravens playbook and I didn't realize it until later, but luckily they had the dime two, three. So I was able to kind of run the stuff. I run out of big nickel. Um, I'm debating on running some other stuff here. I wanted him to check it down to the running back so I could kill him uh, here. We just get a lucky. Honestly, I'm kind of unlucky that Traverius Ward didn't pick that. This guy does not check it down. This guy just throws it deep every fucking play. Um, I honestly shouldn't have been in a game with him, but I was like, yeah, uh, I wasn't really, I don't know. I was, <laughs> I'm a little rusty, man. I've been actually playing rust um, here though. He's going to go to, I think, I don't know. I think it's like PA post shot. Yeah. He ends up blocking his running back. He just snaps the default. Then he runs out of the pocket, throws this shit up straight to Leon and we catch it with pick artists. That's why pick artists is so much better, dude. Like with tip drill on Hufanga there, I probably don't catch that, but <laughs> They fucked his abilities up. And then they give us a Jimmy Ward, too. Shout out to EA. They gave us a Jimmy Ward. He get, he doesn't even get tip draw or pick artist. So it's, like, useless. So, and he's short, too. So I put Patrick Willis in at running back. Um, and I actually, like, I want to say I love this card. Actually, my John Madden misses the block right there. Um, but we get a yard. Let me see. I'm just going to skip ahead. This game is super weird where it, like, freezes sometimes. I don't know. I felt like sometimes my controller wasn't working. Here we're going to the pass game, though. I'm going to call Flood at tight slots. I'm um, pretty sure I just put, yep, little. We're going to hit the, are we going to hit RB? We actually get lucky. Our fucking line, like, completely falls down. Anquan cooks. But, like, uh, some reason larry allen doesn't help and then he trips over him we got really lucky with that honestly i thought i was i should have probably got sacked we were gonna run the ball with p willis though um i love this running back card dude like look at this it, like, it was just fighting just fighting he didn't really do shit right there that was just an open hole i don't know i gotta play i gotta use cmc some more maybe i just don't run the ball enough but i feel like the, i really enjoyed this card um i i don't know i just like the bigger running backs because i feel like they just fight, dude. I feel, I feel, I don't know. I like being over the truck. I've never been good at juking and making people miss. I like running straight through a motherfucker. Here, though, he cooks on the Texas route. Man coverage, touchdown. A linebacker on him. You know, that's Patrick Willis as a linebacker. But he has the short in elite for zero AP on him. Here, I go, I go for two. And I don't know why I never pitch this play. This is, I'm supposed to just run with it, but I pitch it for some reason. I, I don't you're supposed to just run with your quarterback it's kind of a weird play where if they even like they're gonna always play the pitch keys and so it's up to the user to make the tackle make the play some people really struggle against it and this guy has tank on uh gronk so i'm not able to make and right there the his stick was super weird but he has tank on gronk so he doesn't fumble on his sticks so it's counters my shit um but like this is what i was saying like it would not let me scroll down here i even unplugged my controller and had to wait until it stopped and then this guy gets a delay of game i declined it because i feel like his controller was being weird at first too um here he's gonna go to just try to bomb us again he just chucks it up top and then ronnie lot like stops for some reason and gives it up i guess i don't know what happened there so i was like oh okay 
Um, I think I go to cover two here. This is the why I don't run this formation is because it flips my shit and it fucked me up. And then he just throws a corner out, touchdown, scary Terry. It was just, that was a bad, bad drive, especially for Ronnie Lott, man. He didn't make either of those plays. Uh, oh, here. Um, so I have, sh I audible to bunch. Uh, I see, see, he, he presses his, I audible to bunch. I was going to audible to it anyway for verticals. Um, then I see he presses it, presses Debo Samuel. Debo has short in elite and short out elite. Short out elite, if they press you in man coverage, it will get, it, they will win every time. Watch Debo on his left. He will light up. He lights up and he just creates a lot of separation. You just lob it up there. I bullet past it, but outside, he breaks that tackle. I stiff arm this guy. I love Debo. I love Debo's cards so much as a receiver. Like, oh my God. I don't know what we're going to do when. Our receivers are kind of weak right now with Keyshawn. Like, that's why I'm using Keyshawn here, though. Good run. See, like, I don't get that out of CMC. You see that fight, dog? I don't get that with CMC, sadly, bro. Um, But our receivers are kind of lacking right now. I Like, Keenan Allen's a really good one to use if you don't have it. But Anquan's 99 speed now. He was 98. He's really good. That strat card's a dog. It's so helpful. I want to say Debo's 98. He might be 97. I want to say he's 98, though. Keyshawn's 98 um, speed, and he has short and elite. Uh, here, though, Anquan just fries. I love Anquan. He's, he's actually been really good. Reminds me of the Frank Gore, Kaepernick, Anquan days, you know, when on offense. Vernon Davis, too, dog. That's what the, what we need. Ah, shit, dude. I, I wouldn't mind a Vernon Davis. Like, out of position, Vernon Davis, where they put him as receiver, so I got audible to, like, the normal stuff. Here I go for two again. I don't... Um, What do I do here? What do I do here? I kind of panic. I saw that guy. I saw the blitzer on the right side come off the edge completely free. And so I panicked and threw it. I probably should have thrown Kittle because he has... I think Kittle has red zone threat. Dude, I don't know what I was doing. Okay, that's my bad. Kittle has red zone threat, and he should... Oh, my God. And he was on an out route. He would have caught that 100%. God damn it. Here, look look what he does. He motions Mary Jason uh, Scary Terry out. And for some reason, Joey Porter just allows him to get past him. But he has deep out zone KO, so he knocks it out. So I was like, okay. I thought it was like a one-time thing. He does it all the whole game. The rest of the game, he just motions that guy out, and he runs past me. Joey Porter is six foot two, ninety nine speed. Like, he's a good card. Um, but he just gets blown by a lot of the time. Here, honestly, we force a lot of pressure, get a sack. Hargrave combines with uh, Nick Bosa. I like the secure tackler on Hargrave. It's really good, especially if they run like an inside zone. It stops them like right away. And quarterbacks, like they get out of the pocket. But I feel like the tackle, you get better tackle animations too. So they'll actually like do some other stuff. But I uh, see I, if you watch me with Patrick Willis, I'm like playing over top. I'm playing like 10 yards and I'm trying to just fly underneath and hit stick stuff is all I'm trying to do because that's what I want to do. I'm like, let I throw, throw that drag and he does it. And then like scary Terry just runs by Joey Porter again and he knocks it out. I'm like, OK, I like it was the weirdest fucking thing. And then he comes out and punt. I come out and prevent um, and he calls a timeout because he was faking it because like, dude, I, there's like nothing i'm not gonna block a punt like i might as well just come out and prevent because i'm gonna have a guy deep there to pick it up here we're just gonna cover the sticks and this time joey porter gets ran by but he overthrows it i have no idea what's happening on that left side i i was like it's just when i come out in quarters and then like i was it was it's called press quarters in that formation and it does press but i was unpressing him it was super weird i don't know here though we're gonna go to a concept i want to throw rb late but it just that uh, doesn't work B, though, on the slant. Keyshawn cooks his man. Touch down. Do I go for two? No, I kicked my extra point this time because, you know, fuck it. My, I haven't been able to go get my two. Got kind of scared off of it. Here he runs the ball. Oh, I wanted to hit stick him right there, but I didn't get a hit stick animation. I don't think we were in it. His are when he's coming downhill, so I think he has to be, like, in front of them and not on the side or something. So that's where it's, like, in. here I put uh joey porter into outside third and he still runs by him he still runs by him for a touchdown i don't know what the fuck's happening joey porter's 99 speed dog with that strat card like i have no idea so i was like okay i gotta start doing something different because apparently outside th that was outside third and it just got blown by well here though we're gonna go to slant post con concept same thing i just threw a touchdown on 
Um, wise wide open, but you see my center gets his ass eaten by Mean Joe Green, and apparently Larry Allen just blocks nobody. Like, what? Help one of your guys, dude. Double team somebody. Like, Madden and T-Wheel holding up, but, like, goddamn, he just <laughs> helped the center. He has post up. Um, but yeah, damn, he is not posting up a lot. Okay, here, nobody's open. Oh, except Kittle, and I actually didn't, I don't, I fucked that up. I think I clicked on the kibble, kib, kibble, Kittle and messed up the swerve. Like, I accidentally swerved him when I didn't need to. Um, what do we go to here? I think I go to the big boy crosser. Oh, yes, I remember this play. I remember this play so vividly <laughs> now. I double team the center to make sure the post up's gonna activate. Um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I throw X and Kiddo just runs into him and stops the play. Um, I don't know what the fuck. I was kind of mad after that, to be honest. We're gonna snap verticals. He's gonna lurk A. I'm gonna wait. RB. We get the time. The block. Anquan makes some people miss. Ooh, I was almost out of there. I play like I'm on concern. Oh, look at this run. Look at. See, this is why I like Patrick Willis, dude. Like. I'm sorry, but CMC is not fighting and getting that yard. Like <laughs> He has the short and elite, so he's going to create separation. Nobody gets open here. I'm just going to high ball, pass lead. I high balled that and pass led it all the way, so I was like, it's not going to get picked. It's basically a throwaway unless it's like a crazy, crazy dot, but it's not, nobody was catching that. I knew that when I th before I threw it, so what do I go to here? Yep, same kind of combo, slant. Uh, slank it's wide open i'm gonna throw it gonna, uh, i try to click on i wanted him to click on so i could stop and go in there here we're gonna hurry up we're going to go to a weird combo i don't know what the fuck this is uh it's a weird ass combo but i ran it okay oh it's a little mesh concept basically underneath um y was open i think p was open but he used it everything oh look at b i see b and then the guy that was manned up on kittle picks it off b was a touchdown but kit yeah I didn't expect the guy that was manned up on Kittle to play that, so good shit, I guess. Here, though, everything's bagged. He's going to launch this shit, and then I'm like, oh, pick. No, apparently we get out of reach. I don't fucking know, dude. Like, I don't, I, this game's so weird. <laughs> now I was like, okay, now he has Scary Terry activated. I'm going to the inverted cover three instead of the quarters look because I want the, those safeties are deep already, and they're not going to get ran by. Now he's trying to throw that shit over Traverius Ward, who is 99 speed because of the Shrat card, which is actually kind of good. I was going to, Fred Warner was going to be there, and he would be 99 speed, 6 foot 3 instead of 6 foot 1, 99 speed with pick artist lurker. So, I don't know. Uh, and that accidentally man up the wrong guy. I meant to man up RB, but he kind of matches him anyway. Um, And then, yeah. He just throws it up, and Jason Verrett catches his one for a pick. I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's go at least get three, make it a one score or, a, you know, eight point game. Um, yeah. All right. 20, 20, yeah, 20, yeah, eight point game. Here, though, we go to a quick flat to Willis out the backfield. He gets a lot of yards on that shit, actually. Um, oh, shit, I'm messing with the. Yeah, my bad. Y'all hear that? Here, he's in zone. I'm like, okay, I pass lead, RB up. He commits. Willis again, dog. Honestly, he could have lurked that, but look at the fight, dude. Oh, my. You don't get that. You don't get that with CMC. I'm sorry. I seriously might just switch to Patrick Willis with my full-time back. I love CMC. Give him a golden ticket quarterback, and I'm using him all day. But, yeah, CMC is my guy right now. I don't know what the hell they just... Here, we're going to... Oh, I throw a flat, but I pass let it weird. So, I was like, okay... Um, 27 seconds left. I was like, I should honestly, in my, in my, what I should be doing, I should run the ball at least once here. Ball timeout. I should be trying to score, but I got to be kind of conservative because if I get points here, it makes it an eight point game. Like I'm in a good spot. If I throw a pick six or anything, it's stupid. Um, and I'm dumb, right? Here, I go to a flood concept, but I want him to commit to that corner route. He has to guard that corner route. And then it leaves that B wide open, and then he just, Ed Reed just punches the ball out. A fumble. Debo luckily makes the tackle. But, like, dude, ah, that's, like, the first bad thing. Like, that was such a, by motioning him out, giving him more space so it takes longer, and it, he can't just use her both, right? Um, So, I'm able to make him catch it. The corner rock kind of ran stupid, though. And then he's, like, that should be incomplete pass, no? He didn't, that shouldn't be a fumble, should it? I don't know. 
But yeah, so then I was like, ah, damn it. So I, I throw I throw a fumble. He fumbles. I'm like, fuck, okay. I wanted him to throw it underneath, but he's not going to. <laughs> so I was like, so I'm just going to run deep. Here he's going to throw it. Ronnie Lott picks it off. I'm like, all right, now we're going to get our points back. Yay. So um, 11 seconds. I'm am I I might be in field goal range already but I want more so I think I call the exact same combo but I don't motion him out this time no I just quick snap this and I go to throw why I meant I should have highballed that but I thought he was gonna play a little safer on that route but he didn't here he throws it up um he honestly gets a step on me mvs to six four he drops it I pick it off I'm like okay I'm gonna take this to the crib and then I run directly into Tyreek Hill because I'm dumb. I don't know what I was doing. Um, Halftime, I returned the ball to the 24. I was like, all right, enough playing games. For some reason, his defender doesn't come, and I almost no pick. Because <laughs> if he doesn't go for the strip, this guy loves to try to strip the ball. Like, he got the one, but he loves to strip the ball. Ooh. All right, well, my bad, my bad. Had to refresh. Y is open. Oh, RB is open out of the backfield on the wheel route. He He's like, he's playing some weird defense. I think he's on the guy that's supposed to be manned up to Patrick Willis, but then he's manning up his D tackle to him. And so he's only rushing two. Um, and then that guy's manned up on him. And he's just not quick enough to get out there for to Patrick Willis. And the stiff arm, come on, man, the fight. Like he's really good. He's a really good running back. Like if you can't afford CMC, this is the running back you need. Um, I'm I see, and I'm I'm serious. I might switch to him as my full time back instead of CMC. I really might. Just out of preference. I know a lot of people may not agree with that, and I'll get a lot of comments asking like, "Oh, they're almost throw a pick." I'll get a lot of comments asking like, "Why aren't you using CMC?" CMC is good. He really is. But I think I like the bigger, bulkier backs, dog. I like the guys that are going to fight for yards. And, the, and Patrick Willis got good catching and stuff too. Like, I don't know. I might try backfield master on him instead of not, instead of using, uh, what's it called? But yeah, here we're going to go to the combo, the flood combo out of fl bunch. Just hit RB, uh, hit Anquan. Good little route combo. You know, it's been, it's good, really good. A bunch is so good, dude. Oh my God. I actually love my offense. I like being in tight slots and then audibly needs a bunch. I really do. I, and I know a lot of people go to bunch and then audible, audible to tight, like tight slots. I could have hit RB right there. Here, we're going to hit B on the curl route. Uh, get a good gain, a seven. And Stabler, by the way, I have loved Stabler. Stabler's been really good. Um, I might switch off of his running gun ability because like, I don't be rolling out with him here. We're going to run the ball again. Hit boom. I love it, I love it so much. <laughs> Five rushes, 40 yards. Like, he's good, dude. He's a really good back. I think I'm going to run the ball again here, even though he does pinch his line, which should help stop it, but it doesn't. Here, he he pursues over to the outside. He over pursues, so I cut it back in. I got a couple yards there. I don't know how many. <laughs> Let's not pay attention. Oh, I should. I need to call that more. Right, here, we're going to go to rear to Kales. Should have quick snap thrown B. I could highball RB. I probably should have, and then... Fucking, I don't know what the hell. Look at Max Cross. Look at set. Oh, dude, like, what is. I don't know. He's rushing two. He's rushing two people at me, right? Um, But for some reason, like, he beats John Madden and then 56 and 73 just don't block him. I don't fucking know. Like, O line logic in this game sucks, okay? Like, they need. That, that better be fixed next year. Fix the O line, EA. Come on now. Like, he's rushing two um here nobody gets open i'm like all right shit i'm just sitting in the pocket our guys are holding up he rushes me i'm gonna run out here i'm gonna slide i was like i can't fumble here uh there was nothing open i ended up taking three making an eight point game um yeah we're gonna kick the ball off like i said he has no fumbles no fumbles just because damn he took forever he goes to empty bunch which is kind of weird like i don't know <laughs> he's got a lot of chunk he just likes to throw fucking everything like i said look at that animation that's such a crazy fucking play like i don't have strip at a uh, strip specialist watch him watch him just come off the edge beats his edge strips the ball like shout out to bosa nick bosa's a dog dude oh my god that was so crazy 
I he don't even have the strip specialist. I might throw strip specialist on him if he's gonna do shit like that with it. When he does tackle the quarterback, oh my god. How much I think it's right, Pete, but I might have to take double or nothing off. Here the slant cooks him. I don't throw it because I'm dumb. Like what? Like the slant oh my god, Tyson, throw the slant, dog. I love watching my gameplay. Like, I, I seriously, even if you don't do YouTube, just record your gameplays and watch back. You will notice you miss so much shit, dude. Like, in the moment, like, you didn't... Oh, shit, I could have skipped that. You, you don't think you really missed anything, but you actually are missing hella shit. So here, I'm going to go to verticals out of tight. This X route on Debo Samuel cooks press man a lot. Like, look at the separation. I, hi I go to throw it. I just get tackled. He blitz me. Uh, which is kind of rare for him. He's going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just block my running back. Quick snap this. I'm going to high ball X. Get it in there. And I don't get my feet in balance. So I end up taking three to make it an 11 point game. Um, Just because. I'm going to go to tight. And he's going to motion Tyreek out. Um, He's going to go to PA post shot. The same play he's ran this whole time. He's going to throw it up. Traverius Ward is going to beat him there. Jesus, he ends up quitting. I try to show you guys the stats, but he quits before. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think, especially about the Patrick Willis slash CMC thing. Like, do you guys prefer the bigger running backs or do you like the pass catching backs? I guess I like both of them. CMC played really good for me. I like him as a receiver, but as an actual running back and after the catch, I like he catches the ball just fine. He runs the ball perfectly fine, but that first tackle. He's going to usually go through that guy. He's going to break the tackle. CMC don't make a guy. He don't, like, I, I struggle with making a guy miss with the juking and stuff, like jukebox, evasive. I've never been good with that shit. I've, I've always been good being able to truck a motherfucker, though, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I might switch to Patrick Willis and sell CMC. I, I seriously might. I know it's kind of a weird thing to say because, you know, the overalls and, you know. But I prefer the bigger, beefier, I, I prefer big, beefy men. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, till next time, it's your boy Typo. Peace.